everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on getting the garden ready to start feeding us later in the summer. I'm using the greenhouse space here. So far, all I've really been using the greenhouse for is storage. I don't know if you guys have been watching the series for a bit, you might recall there was a huge pile of firewood here, all across here, that uh, lasted us most of the winter. Uh, we, you know, got that moved out by burning and all went up the chimney, and then this area turned into a big storage area for cardboard boxes. Pretty big pile of cardboard boxes. We finally broke all those down recently and we're kind of composting those out using them as some fill material. Here's some that are going to be headed out in a little bit as well. And uh, well, now we're using it to store plywood. Uh, my dad was uh, clearing out some old plywood, uh, so I was able to inherit uh, you know, a few sheets of reasonably good stuff. A little bit, some, uh, some of it's a little gnarly, but right now using greenhouse as like a, a space for beginning to grow stuff. Uh, I've been using these trays for several years, I think. Gosh, I've got, this is probably almost 10 years old, uh, this tray here. I think a lot of people think of these as being kind of um, you know, throwaway. And the way that they're made, it's a really thin kind of plastic, so they do kind of feel throwaway. But if you, uh, you're sort of gentle with them, they can actually uh, treat you pretty well for a few years. Uh, I grabbed some potting soil uh, to put in there. And now, I, I oftentimes will just uh, go out in the garden, I'll just take garden soil, run it through a little sifter and use that. I know that's not ideal, you should you know, maybe mix in a little bit of peat moss. I do have some peat moss in the garden, but uh, starter soil wants to be kind of a little on the fluffy side, but I got, I got lazy this year uh, and I just figured you know, I'll just buy this, it wasn't very much money, to get a bag of dirt to begin with. So I'm just going to scoop this and, uh, and start putting a, a layer across here. And this is what's great about the greenhouse, is if I was doing this inside, it'd all be like, oh, I don't want it to like get on the floor and get everywhere. I mean, I guess I wouldn't be freaking out that much about it. But out here, whatever happens to fall off is going to fall here, and ultimately, this is going to be a growing surface anyway. So uh, it's nice to have this kind of uh, little bit of outside on your inside, especially in the wintertime. Right now, we're getting into summer, and it's not that, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, at this point in terms of temperature, but uh, it's probably starting in, I want to say, uh, very early March, if not uh, late February, we, uh, we, stopped having to, uh, we stopped having to heat our house at all because of the heat that this place would generate. It would be maybe like 30 or 40 outside, but we'd be plus 70, maybe uh, going up to 80 degrees in here, and we'd be able to open up that window, open up this door, and the hot air would go up there and start heating the house, and then we've got that, that air vent that grabs the hot air from the top of the house uh, and throws it to the bottom. So this greenhouse, uh, in addition to being useful for this kind of thing, has been a really big asset for us. I, I can't highly enough uh, emphasize how much of an asset this has been for us, both from heating, for storage space, uh, and just general sort of, uh, uh, I don't know, quality of... Uh, quality of life when you, uh, you know, it's the dead of winter and you can kind of be in a space where you get some uh, uh, space over your head and, uh, you know, some warmth and uh, some sunshine and just being able to come out and put your feet on rocks in the middle of winter. I don't know, for, for me in New England, I know some of you guys uh, watching, you're not uh, in an area that necessarily gets particularly cold in the winter. Maybe you think it gets cold in the winter, but compared to here, it's not really all that cold in a lot of the parts of the country, although there are parts of the United States that are colder than here. I am well aware of that, that New England is not the absolute coldest place, but we, you know, we, we have a lot of cold, damp uh, days in the winter, and it's really nice to have a space like this. That's all this video is about, it's just that if you have a space like this, if you're going to build something like that, it, it gives you like a lot of multi-purpose. Now, someday we may be able to, actually I plan to, start being able to grow uh, crops in here. Uh, we could grow uh, some sort of some types of cold weather crops. I think we could grow kind of all year. Um, some lettuces and kales, certainly, we could grow in this space. So eventually, this is going to be like a productive food creating uh, environment. But like I say with all the different preps on my channel, the best preps are the ones that you can use for so many different things, and they pay you back in so many different ways. And a greenhouse is one of those things. That's it. Thanks for watching.